In the healthcare projects we have been involved with, we have brought and introduced different types of spaces. Although healthcare spaces, we have developed different spaces to help comfort the visitor and the patients. That has developed from our experience in retail, entertainment, hospitality. Uh, we have developed healthcare projects as more of a hotel flair in terms of concierge and the way you're treated in terms of a check-in and check-out. So architecturally, we need to develop, of course, the healthcare spaces to perform and conduct the, the needs of the patients and the doctors, but at the same time, we need to try to bring a little more comfort and assurance. The same home lifestyle into these facilities so there's not an abrupt change from what we experience at home. Healthcare facilities are, are normally uh, view as scary spaces to go into because we normally don't voluntarily go into a healthcare space unless we are visiting someone or unless we're going there for our own benefit of a checkup or a doctor check or whatever it might be. But take that and magnify it exponentially by 10. It's how a, child, a child would feel when they walk into a healthcare facility. And so and I think as architects, we are responsible for taking that, uh, that fear or that potential of, of a threatening space and making it very friendly and creating experience for the children and the, and the youth to go into a healthcare facility so that they do feel at ease, so that they do feel comfortable, uh, that it is a non-threatening space, uh, so that it is a space that, that they feel comfortable in. And so I think anytime you design a building that can transform um, an experience of an individual, especially for children, then I think you would have had that much more success.